these are the greaves I made in my school metal workshop when I was 17. Uh, they've seen quite a bit of action over the years, though not recently, and uh, I thought I'd talk about them for a bit, if that's alright. Uh, now, greaves are armour for the lower leg, and these ones are based on the classical Greek ones. I've used mild steel sheeting, that is to say, iron. Um, now, most of the ones, in fact, all the ones you will see in museums are bronze. But that's, I suspect, because all the surviving ones we have today are bronze. Uh, bronze lasts really well in the soil, whereas iron tends to rust away, and thin iron sheeting rusts away very quickly, of course. Uh, so it could be that there were plenty of iron ones, uh, but we just don't have them to look at today. But if there were iron ones, they were presumably roughly the same shape as the bronze ones. Um, each one is a single piece of metal with a slit down the back, and they hold on to my legs just by the springiness of the metal. And, you know, they've never, ever fallen off. And I've run and fought and slid down hills and done all sorts of things in these greaves, and um, they've never come off. And I've never found them encumbering at all. Now, you may think that metal on your lower leg uh, would slow your running down quite a bit, but, um, well, I'm sure they must slow down my running to some degree, but really not noticeable. When you've got other bits of armour on and you're, you're carrying a spear and a large shield and they're quite awkward and they're slowing you down a lot, uh, the extra encumbrance of the greaves was not noticeable. Um, something I've done on both of these greaves is sewn uh, padded leather along the bottom edge using thonging and uh, some repairs with string. Um, I say padded, it's, uh, it's actually um, sheepskin with the sheep the, with the fur still on it and so that's that's the padding and that makes them a lot more comfortable now uh, museum examples do indeed have holes drilled around the edges for the attaching of some sort of padding on the edge and possibly a complete lining of course i've been fighting in these uh in britain and most of the time i've had trousers or something on underneath whereas we imagine uh, that the greeks may have fought uh, with the metal straight onto bare leg and in a Greek summer, so the metal might have gone an awful lot hotter, so they might have benefited uh, a lot more from having the inside lined with some material or leather or something, uh, just for the uh, to stop them getting scorched by their own armour. Uh, I haven't found that necessary, but as I say, I've been fighting in England. Um, the the hammering, uh, <laughs> the hammering in places is a little bit crude. Um, in some places it's beautiful and smooth, in other places you can see individual hammer marks uh, these were finished in a great hurry, and um, uh, I remember how I finished them, is that I did, you see these, these grooves here and here, to, which sort of shape it to the leg? Well, I put the greaves on my legs and whack, hammered them into the shape of my legs in situ. And yes, it did hurt, um, but, uh, but damn it, it was the sacrifice I had to make, so I occasionally had to pause to go, Oh, uh, but then I carried on and I got them done in record time and uh, my legs were actually though in pain for a bit they were unharmed which shows that greaves must work I mean if you can if you can hammer them repeatedly uh, such that you distort the metal um, uh, to a significant degree and your legs are at the end of this all right well then greaves must work um, I really can't see a spear ever doing a greave any harm and uh, that's one of its principal purposes, of course, when you're standing in the line with your spear and everyone's poking at everyone else with sharp pointy things, um, you don't want someone to get you in the lower leg. And uh, I think these would be almost 100% effective against spears from the front at that stage of battle. Um, so they're not encumbering. Ah, you may notice that I've also got um, leather sewn, uh, this time with uh, authentic uh, period linen thread, uh, along the top edge. Uh, this came later. I did this one first because I knew that the bottom edge of the metal would cut in horribly into my foot and be very uncomfortable, so I wanted to make that comfortable, and it worked. Um, but then I got really sick of the top edge of the greave scraping loudly against the inside of my shield, scratching the paintwork off my fancier shields, uh, scraping and scuffing and generally uh, being annoying with my uh, scabbards and so forth, and so that's why uh, this top edge uh, leather has been applied and uh, you'll notice I mean you can see that there's a fair bit of, of use come out of these because the the leather actually is is wearing through in places in fact on this one yeah you can see the bottom edge has actually cut through the padding uh, that's how much use these have had um, so I find them uh, very practical and 
I'm a little bit surprised that this sort of thing wasn't actually more common in the ancient and medieval world. Armoring your lower leg is really handy.